time. I'm a vampire. You two. I think I've figured out a way to defeat the vampires. How? That's all I want to know, Grandfather. Well, basically, vampires are allergic to the sun. If we manage to find a spot with some sunlight, then maybe and they follow us, they can turn into dust. Look, there's some sunlight over there, Doctor. Excellent. Ah, vampires. Well observed, Doctor. <laughs> what have you done with King Eldon? Oh, Eldon. He's just a little speck inside this body of mine. Oh, I'm a vampire. As you see, Doctor, we are making ourselves. Bigger. We cannot be defeated. That's what you think. But we can stop you. Oh really? Well look over there at that sunlight of yours. Grandfather, they're changing the weather. The sun's gone, Doctor. Please. You can't do this. So I, Count Caledon, will be the greatest vampire of all. Wait, hold on a second. Steve! Yes, Doctor? When you were serving Eldon, what did he eat? Lots of food. Like what though? Tell me what he ate exactly. Meat, lamb, egg. And garlic. Garlic, yes. If I'm right, but I'm pretty sure garlic destroys the vampires, am I right? No, 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 no! He can't be full of garlic! I'm afraid he is. Which can't be good for you, Count Claydon, or for you, Eldon. No, no! Oh no. No, I remember now. I have garlic. I always ate garlic. I'm sorry, Count. You oh! Father, where did he go? Yes, Doctor. Where is my king? Oh, when you slay a vampire, basically, they return to their mortal state, but dead. Elrond was still in his life. His body just died. However, that body disappeared, I'm not sure why. However, Count Claydon. Must have been a vampire for a very long time. Because he shriveled up into dust. So why did he teleport away? I don't know. But I dare say we'll find out. Now Susan and I must be going. Please Steve, come with us. What? I said come with us. They're not artists. Oh, okay, that pole thing. Yeah. Okay, but maybe slightly cramped. Wow, it's bigger on the inside. Yes, Susan. Yes. What did you mean by bringing him in here? Sorry, but I wanted him here. She forced me. I suppose you'll have to stay. Hmm. So you should have been travelling yet long then. 
No, this is impact. Our first adventure in our TARDIS. It's a Type 40. It stands for Time and Relative Dimension in Space. Susan made the name TARDIS from its initials. Wow. Thanks. Well, right now, I've got work to do. What work? First one. Waters, I've been trying to track Eldon. But the TARDIS says his last records are in here. Really? Yes, no, this is odd. It's just here. Like he dies here in a few adventures time. Will I see him? Well, the strange thing is, the only people present are me, Susan, him, this professor, and not you. No, I'm gonna leave you before I get to see him again. No, that won't happen. Okay. But it could be the end of us all. But also, someone known as Cleo Carter will be here. You're Steve Carter, right? Yeah, Cleo's my sister. Well, I wonder... Grandfather, can we get going? Of course, of course. But I wonder if I had something to do about this appearance, me in the future. Okay, I suppose this is a time machine. Come on. Oh no! We've been caught! There's mutations! We're boarding! The TARDIS! Dun, 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 uh. Um, Doctor, what's that? Oh no, was it another life form? I must take the ship to my master. Oh no. We're in trouble now! Why? The target is being taken over by this mutant. Mutant? Yes. Uh... You are the doctor. Yes, and what about it? You are now a prisoner. Oh dear. Please, help me. What? Uh -huh.